So a lot of the moves we have in the zoo are dictated by the species survival plan. Um, and what that is, is a group of experts that come up with um, breeding pairs. So a lot of people ask us, you know, why are we giving up one animal? Why do we get something else in? Um, it's all very well thought out and it's in the best interest of the species. So we're using, you know, their recommendations to bring animals in or ship them out based on breeding recommendations so that we have the best genetics represented in zoos. Um, we want to have a self-sustaining population here in our North American zoos and even some of our European zoos. Um, but we bring animals in and just send them out based on these recommendations. Um, the red panda is a recommendation um, to breed, which baby red pandas, sorry, <laughs> they're so cute. Um, but our red panda is a recommendation to breed here. So the process of that is our curators, you know, find an animal based on the SSP's recommendation. So we're constantly talking to other veterinarians in different zoos based on um, animals coming in or going out. Um, so testing is done there and then the animal will come into our facility into a quarantine. So it's, um, you know, monitored for a period of anywhere from 30 to 90 days depending on the species. Um, here in the hospital um, and they'll get another quarantine exam. A lot of times we do repeated testing just to make sure that animal is healthy before we put them out with our general population. I mean, I love just walking through the zoo um, and seeing animals that you've worked on or especially ones that you've saved um, or even ones that are going out and breeding. Like that's super exciting to know that you brought this animal in to help the population and they're doing their job. You know, they, you know, it's just living their lives, but to us it's, you know, sustaining a population and it's so gratifying to know that, that you are a part of that.